friends, welcome Priyanka's home kitchen. Today I am going to show you one mouth watering sweet dish. This is called Gulab Jamun or West, in West Bengal this is called Pantoa. So let's start with ingredients. For making Gulab Jamun here we need one cup of dry milk powder, one and half teaspoon of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of semolina or suji or rava, 2 teaspoon of clarified butter or just regular butter, milk, some warm milk for making dough, pinch of baking soda and for frying enough oil and for making sugar syrup we need 2 cup of sugar, 1 cup of water and some cardamom seeds. So now I am going to make sugar syrup. So actually I already have some sugar syrup which I made few days ago. So here I am using just little bit of sugar and water. Just little bit of water and some sugar. That's it. My cardamom. And now I am keeping this temperature in high but when my sugar syrup will start boiling that time I will bring down this temperature and keep in simmer. And now I am going to make this dough. So at first I am going to add my all dry ingredients. Uh, this is uh, dry milk powder, now some molina or suji. Here this is all purpose flour. Pinch of pinch of baking soda. A little bit more, just a little bit. Now mix it together. Two spoon of clarified butter you can use regular butter unsalted regular butter and using some milk for making dough and also you have to make a soft dough again adding some milk So here my dough is ready, now I have to leave it for 5 minutes and here my sugar syrup is boiling so now I, go, I am going to bring down this heat to simmer and after 10-15 minutes my sugar syrup will be ready and here I am going to turn on the heat in the low to medium high for heating the oil and you have to keep the low temperature otherwise your gulab jamun outside will be fried but inside won't be ready. After 5 minutes if your dough became uh, some dry you can use again some warm milk for making soft dough like this okay and now I am going to make small small ball from this dough. Since this dough is little bit sticky so for, for making balls I am here using some key or clarified butter on my both palms and I'm now taking small portion and make a small ball like this and roll it And making a smooth, soft, nice balls like this. Again, taking a little bit of portion. Making a ball and roll.
here my balls are ready and I made this small size ball because, because uh, after frying and soaking into the sugar syrup these balls will be increased in size and so now I am, now I am going to fry them my oil is ready Put gently here I am stirring this gently because I want to fry them evenly and when they will become golden brown color then I will take it out you can see they are gradually turning golden brown color and so you have to just keep patience for making nice gulab jamun so here you can see these balls turned into nice golden color and so they are done and now I am going to take out them so you can see they became perfect golden brown color and you probably noticed that they increased in size so here I want to say something that sometimes uh, gulab jamun are increased uh, when you are frying but sometimes gulab jamun are increased after soaking the hot sugar syrup so this is no problem so now I'm going to put it into the hot syrup and when you going to uh, put into the hot syrup you have to turn off the heat okay and just put it gently and you have to leave it for at least one hour so friends my gulab jamuns are ready they look gorgeous and here I garnished uh, with resins and sliced almonds just awesome so now I am going to take a bite so friends now I am going to take a bite bite mmm so tasty so satisfied and my gulab jamun soaked sugar syrup evenly I am telling you that you must like it. so friends now today's tips is if you want to fry onion very fast just add little bit of salt or sugar so bye bye see you with my next recipe